Hello everyone, it's been quite a while since I've done a video, but I'm going to try to get back into it. I lost the source code, but thank you Tavind Kumar, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'll put your name up on the screen for a little bit, but thank you for sending me the source code, and you had a small error with it, I believe I fixed it. So, as you can see here, we have the same Tetris that we left off with, there's this in the middle. Then we have all of these, and we can change these. I know there's a problem with changing these on a uh, Mac, but I really don't know how to fix that. And I think if you go in and put some in anyway, it will fix that. It's like if you go in and add your own keys, even though it starts off wrong, I think it'll stay fixed once you've clicked done. But yeah, so like, if I change these around a bit, and then click done, close out of it, come back, you can see they're the same as what I left them. And we have, oh sorry, that's the options. We have the high score window, and we can exit. So, just to get back into it, I haven't really messed around with Java in a while, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty, and I'm going to be using control space a lot to look around for what to do. But, um, just to get back into it. I'm going to try to put or load in this picture, which is what I'm going to use for my Tetris blocks. So I went, I made this in, I think GIMP, but you can really use. I'll put a link to this if you want it, but you can use whatever you want for your blocks. Now the specifics of this, uh, actually, it doesn't say. I'm going to open it up in Paint real quick. All right, so if I go to properties then in pixels 75 by 25 so each block is 25 by 25 and we're going to need to know that when we load it in now to be able to load it in there's uh you're going to need to get whatever picture you want to use of course you can download mine which i recommend doing you're going to want to navigate to your workspace so for example you go the default workspace is you go to your computer, then you go to users, and you go to whatever user you're on, and it'll be workspace. But I do all my recording in workspace too. So I go to workspace 2, and I have my Tetris folder. And then you're going to want to make a new folder. So new folder, but I've already done that. Name it res, R-E-S, for resources. And then just stick it in there. All right, and then after you've done that, you don't need this anymore. You can close out of it. You're going to right-click on your Tetris folder in Eclipse, go to Properties, go to Java Build Path, and Libraries, and add a class folder. And actually, I'm going to need to refresh my thing because it hasn't pulled up yet. So after I've refreshed it, I have this resource folder here. Properties, add class folder, and now Resources is on here. So I just hit that, and then that'll be used as a resource so that we can read from it which will make more sense later. All right. So now we have our main class and I don't really want to load specifically or straight up from this class. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make a new Java class. I'm going to call it image loader. And now we're just going to do some we're going to make a static method. So public static uh, image. I think we can use image, yeah. Image. And then it's going to return an array. Images. Or no. Load image. String path. Alright, so what this is going to do, Control shift o to import that, is return an array of images that has been trimmed from our original image. So in our original image, we have these six blocks, the six different, or sorry, seven blocks, seven different colors. We're going to want to trim that into pieces so that we can load it in. Then we're going to pass an int width. Actually, yeah, we'll do int width, and that'll know, and that is so it will know how wide each image is supposed to be. So we'll make a new array of image, image images equals new image actually no we need to do that a bit later sorry all right 
Um, okay, let's make a buffered image to load it in. Or, um, let me see, image. Yeah, so we need a buffered image. Buffered image load equals image io dot get image I think it's dot read maybe yeah dot read and then we're going to do image loader dot class dot get resource and then put in our path here Control shift. Oh, this is supposed to be buffered. Sorry. And what's the error here? All right. Yes. Yeah, so this has exceptions with it. We're just going to add those to throw. Throw IO exception. Exception. Throws. IO exception and import that as well. And what that means is that this. Uh, Basically, if it runs into an error loading in the image, then it's going to throw this exception, and we'll have to handle that where we call this method. Okay. Image images equals new image load dot get width divided by width. All right, so what this is doing is it's making an array of images that is uh, however many indexes this is long. So like the width of the image in our case is 175, and the width that we're going to want to pass in eventually is going to be 25 because that's how wide each, uh, each square that we want is. So this is going to create an array with 175 divided by 25, which is 7. It's going to create an array 7 long. And then eventually we're going to want to return that array. Okay, and then while we're in the middle of this, we're going to do a for loop for int i equals zero i while i is less than images dot length add one to i. And now we just need to load in the Im or split up the images. So images i equals load dot um hmm. get sub image we're going to want to use get sub image and then the starting location is going to be i times width so this is where it starts the sub image from the height is going to be zero and the width is going to be width and the height will also be width so effectively what this is going to do is it's going to split up the image into uh, e uh, sub images that are going to get put into our array and then our and then our array is going to get returned so now to actually call this because I think it'll make more sense once we actually have it set up we're going to go into our this is going to change later but we're going to go into our Tetris main class for now we're going to create a uh, private image Tetris blocks. And then we got to import image, control shift O. And then go down to our initialize method and call image loader, wait, Tetris blocks, blocks equals image loader dot load image and then the path of it is just tetris dot png and the width is 25 alright and like I said this uh, has that exception that's what the throws means so we're gonna surround it with a try catch statement catch io exception e I can't spell, I'm sorry. Exception. And we have to import that as well. And then we're going to print out 
error loading in tetris.png and we're going to exit the program with a state of 1 which means it encountered an error okay so first off let's see if this runs and then if it does I'll try to make it so we can actually see the the uh, one of the blocks so this successfully runs we don't run into any errors while we run it so just to test it out down here in our render thing we're going I'm actually gonna run this in debug mode let me make sure I have that set up yes bill automatically is on I'm gonna run this in debug mode so I can see it update I'm going to do g dot draw image tetris blocks zero and then we don't need most of these tags so we can just manually put them in instead. I'm gonna put it at 100, 100 and I think that might be enough. Let's see, is it? Okay, that's not enough for it. We're gonna have to put a width and a height in as well. That's okay. We can just put in 25 and 25. Close that out. What's it complaining about now? Oh, and they have, Java has this image observer thing, which I'm not completely sure what it does, but basically the way to make it not worry about it is you put null at the end. So now, if we run this, okay. Let's see what the problem is. Render, all right. Apparently this is null. Um. Did I set it equal to? Tetris box, okay, yes, that should be working. Uh, it's not calling, oh, this is, this method's never even called. I didn't realize that, okay. So, in the run method, um, since this is not my original code, I'm not too sure if this is already there or not, but in case it's not, we're going to want to call the init method before we have this while loop going. And also another thing that we should add is request focus in this init loop, which basically tells the game that this is the window that should be focused on, or it tells the computer to focus on this window, and that'll be helpful later when we're doing key presses. Alright, let's try running this again. Okay, so you can see we have that block in the middle. That's 100, 100, I guess. And let's try running it in debug mode and see if we can get the other blocks to show up. So that's the blue block at zero. I'm um, just going to shrink this down. And this, so the next block should be the red block. And if we pull it up, it's the red block. And then the sixth block should be this light blue cyan block. So, or the seventh block, but six in here. So let's put a 6 in there, we pull it up, cyan black block. And then just to see if they have the black borders around them, I'm going to change the background color to yellow. And you can see they do have the black border around them, like they have in the original picture, which means that that is working properly. I'm going to change this back to black. Actually, I think I'll make it light gray and see how that looks light gray has an underscore okay uh i don't know i'll figure out a color later that's really up to you you can use whatever color you want but that's the basics of loading in the image and we're going to be using those as the images for our blocks so if you have any questions about this uh, i'm just getting back into this tutorial thing i might I, I realize i could have messed something up i might not have explained everything fully so if you have any questions just leave a comment and ask it I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you run into any problems, other than the Mac thing with the key configuration, because I'm not really sure what to do about that, then leave a comment about that as well. And um, if you like the video, like it. If you want to follow this series, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.